Hey, Sensory Play families, it's Miss Donna again, and today we're going to talk about fun things that you can do with pool noodles. As you know, we're getting to the end of the summer, and some of those pool noodles get a little abused. I know how that goes. Besides the fact, they don't cost a lot. If you don't have one, you can go get one really cheap. So today, we're going to talk about some things you can do. First, before you can do a lot of these things, you have to cut them apart. Now, I'm just using a regular knife. You can use fancy knives, you can use saw, it depends on how you want to do it. As you can see, they cut really easily. You can cut them into small pieces, into wider pieces. Um, and as if any of you have been here before, you know Mr. Eric sometimes uses them in marble runs, so you can cut them and take out chunks and have them for all kinds of things. But for today's purposes, we're just going to use small pieces. Here's your ideas that you can use. You see these are shaped like flowers. There are some that are shaped uh, more square. Stack them, okay? Now, of course those go together easy, but how easy is it if you start stacking ones that are different or longer or bigger or <laughs> cut not so neatly as sometimes happens? Ooh, look, we have a backwards going tower. How high do you think we can get our tower? Look at that. Ooh. Hey, look at that. We did really good. <laughs> and the nice thing about them is they're quiet. Much quieter than Legos and wooden blocks and all those other things. They don't make a whole lot of noise even when they hit the ground. So awesome things for building, stacking, skills like that. You can sort them by colors, you can sort them by shapes, by sizes. There's all kinds of simple things that you can do with them. Another activity that's a lot of fun to do, and if you've been to sensory play before, you know this one, is you can thread pool noodles. Now, of course, if you've been to sensory play, you know I have these amazing things called giant pipe cleaners. You can get these both on Amazon, or if you check at Hobby Lobby, you can find some of them there. But regular size pipe cleaners work too, but they make great things to thread them through. You can put all kinds of them on there. You can make patterns. You can switch them up. You can space them apart. Um, you can make shapes out of them. However, that you, know, you can do just about anything you want with those. But other ideas for those of you that don't just have handy giant pipe cleaners is you can use ribbon okay we've got two I've got two different sizes of ribbon because it doesn't really matter what size ribbon but the ribbon is going to go through those and they can thread ribbon and they can thread longer ribbon wider ribbon skinnier ribbon all of that through there as well it's a great skill and one other way that you can thread them and this is really simple a clothespin and this is like some heavy string. You could use yarn, whatever you would like. I just kind of wrapped it around the end of the clothespin. I put it in there, kind of, yeah, sort of. Wrapped it around a couple of times, then ran it back through there so that it was kind of caught so that you have an end. And then you could have a whole tower made and you could drop that whole tower through there and you're gonna be able to string a whole bunch between. So, and depending upon the length of your string, you could have them on both ends or one end. You could even make banners with them. So you have all kinds of stringing ideas that you can do different ways. Very simple things that you've got at home. Who knows, you might have even some better things. Another idea, and this is a good car idea. Um, Mr. Eric and I saw these on Pinterest. You take the popsicle sticks and you put the Velcro sticks on them. Well, one nice thing about the pool noodles is, and we, <laughs> I have to give this credit to the children because Mr. Eric and I did not come up with this, but they created cars and all kinds of things with their pool noodles. They put them in and they, they made cars and they made motorcycles and they made houses 
and they made all, oops, got that backwards, all kinds of things. And the nice thing about these is you can take these on the road with you. You can take them to parks. Um, if you drop them in the car, even if they would happen to throw them at a sibling, not much is going to hurt you here. It's, you know, pretty painless there. But that's another thing as they're getting a little bigger, as they get a little more creative, these are a great way to add to your pool noodle skills. And they would might, maybe the older siblings might want to play with the younger siblings when they see them doing fun things like this. Another one that we already do here at Sensory Play, if you've been here before, is we do the pom-poms. And you guys know how much fun they have taking them in and out of the pom-poms. This one even looks like a really pretty flower. Isn't that cool? Um, you can also use corks, uh, cotton balls, anything like that that you've got. Um, small plastic tongs are good. They can use their fingers once they use the pinching motion. This is a great skill to continue working with. If you have a bigger one, you can see how many you can get stuck inside of it and then figure out how to get them back out. Um, another two things that you can do. If you have an, a plastic swimming pool, you can make a ball pit. These things are awesome. Throw into a pool, let them play. They're gonna throw them around. They're not gonna hurt anything. They're not gonna hurt themselves. Then they are so much fun. Another place that they can play with them in is the tub. You can fill the tub full of them. They can swim in them just like they are. You can even put water in the tub and layer at the top of it and then they're swimming through them like they're icebergs or they're playing, maybe they're building their boats on them. However, they're great, they drain, there's no mess. Um, another texture thing that you can also try is you, if you have shaving cream, you can put a pan with shaving cream in it and play with them and build with them. They can ice them like they're cakes, they can coat them in it, they can stack, try to stack them when they're covered with nice slick shaving cream and see how that works. And of course, not only are they getting clean, but the kids are getting clean in the process too. And so there's lots and lots of ideas that you can do with very simple pool noodles. And all of this is stuff you have at home probably already. If not, they won't cost you more than a dollar or two if you need to go pick up a pool noodle. And I invite you to invest in different sizes and shapes and have all kinds of fun. See you guys next month.